stop stacking multiple plugins to recover the abandoned card on your WooCommerce site. With this plugin called Send, we'll be able to recover the abandoned card automatically by building a workflow. Now, don't worry, this is going to be super easy and I'm going to show you how on this video. Now, if you need to check out Send, link provided in the description. Now, let's go ahead and jump over to my WooCommerce site. One of the big benefits of Send in the WooCommerce site is that there's no extra tweaking or third-party connections that you need to make to connect it to your cart because it's already inside of WordPress. Now, the idea here is to install Send on your WordPress site and we'll be able to get started right away. Now, in order for us to build a workflow, it's going to be super easy, especially with our templates. So we're going to go into workflows and we can get started with a template or create our own. Either way, it's super easy to build the workflow. Now, in this case, I am going to use a template. Now, if you want to build something super simple, you have options like multiple items in cart reminder. And this is a simple workflow where we're going to trigger this and send out an email. But in this case, we want to make something a bit better, more complex and automated. So we're going to use abandoned cart recovery. So in this case, I'm going to edit the workflow and we're able to view the steps that this workflow has. And if we like it, let's go ahead and name this and I'll just say cart test. Let's go ahead and use the workflow and it's going to kick off the automated builder. Now, in this case, let's go ahead and jump into the trigger. Now, the automation is super easy to build. And the first thing is the trigger, which is what needs to happen in order for this workflow to kick off. In this case, the trigger, let's go ahead and edit this, is the cart is abandoned. Now, as I mentioned before, the beauty about this is that it's already on WordPress on the WooCommerce site, and we don't need to make some extra tweaking. We just need to tell it that the cart is abandoned. That's all. I mean, that's a connection, and then we continue the workflow, right? Let's go ahead and save the trigger, and then we continue. Now, something that I would add to this step is a delay. I don't want to automatically send this off once the cart is abandoned. I want to kick off here, I want to add it, and I want to add a waiting time. In this case, let's go ahead and set this up, and I'm going to set this to one day. One day is fine. You can set hours, days, etc., whatever you like. But in this case, I'm just going to set it to one day. Then we're going to kick it off with the email. So let's go ahead and edit this right now. And you have the subject line, which is pre-built, and it's kind of like what you need. But obviously, you can go ahead and tweak this to whatever you like. So here's the subject line, the preview text the sender name and the sender email. Again, you can tweak all of this later on. Then we need to choose a template or just build one on our own. We can go ahead and start from scratch or use something that works already. For example, abandoned cart ready for more. So I'm going to use this template, which would work for my use case. So let's go ahead and name this. Let's go ahead and use the template. And this is going to open, it's going to open up the editor. Now I'm able to edit this right now and save it in my workflow. Now in this case, there's already options like the go to cart button. There's blocks that we can add here. For example, I'm going to add a section. I am going to add content and I can go ahead and add the card right here. Again, no fine tuning needed because it's already connected to your WooCommerce site. So it will already have the products listed right here and then you can go to view card and then it'll go straight to that section. Now you can tweak these options like changing the price colors, button size, a few details, but we're going to be good to go. We're going to save this. And if you need to, you can go ahead and send out a test email if you want to test it out. In this case, we're good to go. All right, here we go. We got our demo of the email. We're going to save the email and we have the first email. Remember, we are waiting one day for this. There's also another day which then triggers a split. That is like if this happens, if, if yes, then do that other thing. And if no, do this other thing. So, for example, what happens? There is a split workflow here that says if the order is completed and then we have yes, then we're going to send off a coupon for the next order. If no, then we give them a 50% coupon. So we want to really uh, trigger them to buy and we're giving them that extra push to go ahead and do it. Now, in the split condition, there's several options available. Now, in this case, it's if the order is completed. But there's, for example, a number of items in order exceeds, the purchase value exceeds, a contact hasn't made an order, something in the cart, something in the customer behavior or engagement or activity. So you have those options available. So in this case, if they don't buy then we're going to trigger this workflow and it continues as much as you need and you can make this longer more complex more conditions more uh, splits whatever you need you'll be able to do it right here now maybe a good split would be over here in the beginning maybe you don't want to kick this off unless the order amount has a certain money amount for example let's go ahead and add a split here we're gonna condition split we're gonna say if the for example cart amount exceeds one hundred dollars go ahead and save the split then we are going to kick off this automation if no then it ends 
it's kind of like saying you know what if the order is not worth it if it's not over 100 bucks then we are not going to kick off this automation and it's it's useful it just depends how you want to use this or if it's no maybe you want to trigger them to hey you know what add more products add a another email that's going to be sent off to provide uh, a discount something like that or add some extra products it, it just depends how you want to use this but it's up to you the available options that you have available here to create your email templates for the workflow i mean like i said if you want to add an email here when it's no in this case if it doesn't exceed a hundred dollars then we're going to kick this off with a different email and there's several options that conditional split will help you out to really fine tune the email so if they click on something then we do continue if not then don't um if they did purchase then do this and if they didn't then do that and once you kick this off and you save it you'll be good to go to launch now it's super easy to implement just like you saw in this video where you can go ahead and just kick this off build it right now launch the workflow and you'll be good to go the reason that this is so easy it's because send is already in the woocommerce site so it knows where to grab the information from so you don't need to kind of figure out like you would if you were, were building this in a third-party system where you need to connect wordpress and then woocommerce and then just kind of tell it where to connect everything in this case it's just super easy now once you kick this off you have all your available information here for example you're going to be able to view all your contacts that have purchased contacts that filled out a form and are added right here you got the list and you can build lists to uh, make separate them in this case for example if they're going to be customers if they filled out a form if they came from another crm etc you can go ahead and add them right here and separate them by list really easily you got forms so if you are using elementor and you add a form you can go ahead and kick that off and add your subscribers from that form inside of here and take them to a list in this case they are sent to the specific list that i said here which is the test list but i can create a specific list for the people who fill out the form so it's super easy and practical here plus there's also broadcast so if you don't want to use the automated workflow for the abandoned cart you can send out a broadcast to all the members that are subscribed in your list so if you want to send out a general promotion it is possible right here and then you have your email templates that you can pre-build here you can use the ones that are available here or create your designs and have them available right here ready to be used for the next email that you send out so it's a super great plugin to use here on your woocommerce site without a bunch of fine tuning or complex settings to build your workflows so definitely test it out they do have a free version so go ahead and sign up right now link provided in the description and that is a wrap for sense